Hi guys, uh, <clears throat> it's a small video on JBMS Emission Finance Program. Um, I'm, I'm very much sure that by this time you guys must have done with all the uh, GDPIs of all the colleges. And there are a lot of people in the market, they're still confused like whether they should go for this program or they should not go for this program. Um, so I'm just going to throw a little light on it. Um, I'm going to help you guys to understand uh, what is this program all about and you know how can actually uh, you can diversify your profile if you, uh, you know, if you, if you kind of, you know, apply for this program. So yeah, so I want you guys well, so that's my profile out here. Um, that's let's just a snapshot. Um, you guys can pause the video, have a look at it later on. That's that's what you can do. But then, yeah, what I'm most interested is to show you guys analysis out here. So if you look at this course, uh, let's look at the analysis for the year 2015 and 17. So if you look at this course, a um, couple of years back, if I if I check, IT industry contributed around about 61%. I mean, say so you hire students from here around about 61%. Um, if I look at freshers, 21%, a good number of people out here. Okay. And that's what I'm talking about, a 2015 and 17 ka profile. <coughs> Engineers, um, so people were there from uh, consulting domain, analytics domain, engineering, and so on and so forth. But what surprises me that in the next year, which is the 2016 batch and 2018 batch, if you look at this batch bifurcation, yeah, if you look at the diversity, and I'm really happy that though it's a finance program, uh, JB is still catering to the diversity. So look at these four options out here. Consumer durables, FMCG, chemical, manufacturing, media and entertainment. I mean, that's a great surprise because people do tell that it's an MSC finance program, which is like pretty core program of finance. But still, you have people making up to this uh, program from chemical, manufacturing, media and entertainment. And it's not only that, but again, you have people IT and ITES. So, doesn't matter what background you have or doesn't matter, uh, you know, where you come from. I think this profile or the program is meant for everybody as to how to kind of, you know, bend your profile, how to convince the panel in the, in the interview that, okay, why you want finance? Uh, that's something, you know, CET King can take care of. So, so yeah, so as of now, if you look at the entire portfolio of this program, the portfolio of the students, there are students from different background altogether. And that's, that's what we get to see here. So don't worry, you have chance for this, even though you are not a finance guy. You want to do marketing, you can still go for it. You want to do operations, you can still go for it. Now, why am I making a mention of the operations out here? Well, let's look at this, this uh, parameter out here, IT, e, IT and ITES. So, if I look at all the companies, uh, the big IT companies, so uh, there are KPOs like, you know, you bought like e clerks out here. Uh, so e clerks is the uh, KPO, which is there. You have e -surf, right? And even if I just talk about the IT companies, uh, only IT companies like Accenture and Infosys, um, Wipro and the MU Sigma, all these companies, which are IT domain companies, if you look at their financials as on today, around about 57%, to 60% of their revenue has actually been made by the BFSI sector. So if you're somebody who's working into the IT sector right now and want to move to the finance domain, this is the right choice for you. And that's where I want most of you guys to take an Now, now for, for the people who are like fanatic, like who love uh, to be in finance and really want to do finance as a uh, take. Okay, yeah, so if you're an MSC Finance guy, right, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to plot here a couple of things for your better understanding. So, MSC Finance guy, uh, getting into uh, the banking industry. So, he started with the banking industry, say, uh, a small job, like commercial banking, right, he started with the commercial banking. Five years down the line, what's going to happen to you? Though your job is not as technical as an equity analyst or an investment banking, like a trader, right, you can still switch the domains now let me give you a good idea about the domain so where all you can go so first you are in corporate banking from corporate banking you can move to the wealth management from wealth management you can move to the fund management from a fund management you can actually move to the it or ites sector wherein you can be a project manager or you can be a cluster manager so and so forth so Doing a finance course does not mean that you're going to be always technical and you will not have a chance to interact with people, to work with the team or, you know, to, to give a lot of presentations and convert the clients. 
you can still have that kind of a profile if you are a mbc finance guy now even if you go to i am lucknow you check out i am calcutta you check out i am ahmedabad what is the main job of these guys these guys are basically into making revenue for the company yes and that's very much important revenue matters a lot so i'll give an example so you are a ca yeah so you are a ca with a ranker right and you get say hired by any of the broker firm uh, any of the brokers so like say so let's talk about india bulls so you start with the equity analyst okay so you are an equity analyst you you know um synergizing all those financial statements balance sheets and everything and you're going to do the projections and all but what the who's the guy who ultimately takes the decision uh you know with respect to funds to be put into one stock um that should you you know lend certain amount of money or certain crores of rupees to certain company or not that ultimately lies with the guy from i am or sbjns or maybe a jbmms right now why because these guys have potential because they are from the brand so it's assumed that these guys have a potential that they can actually speak to the clients they are technically smart they are technically sound they are good with the communication so they will convert the deal for them and they have they have the ability to basically crack the deals right so even if you are not getting into jbmms i think this is the right platform for you it's kind of a back door entry to be very honest so it's a right platform for you that you can actually get into mms uh, MSc finance program and you can still get profiles which are given to people in IMs in SPs in Excel and the FMS so you are not honestly and that's what i say i think this is one of the best thing that you have let's look at the placement record yeah i mean this is something really does matter when you kind of go for a program now honestly i started like look at this this is this is the beautiful report out here um after graduation i think it's been it's been around about 7 to 8 years i have been in the finance domain uh, i started as an equity analyst currently i am an investment banker i had worked with all the top notch uh, companies as a financial consultant for them so i look at this uh, from a financial perspective and i just say wow why look at the domain that guys are getting placed into the first and foremost that i want to make a mention about is the consulting domain yeah honestly you know trust me rather than getting into a college like wellinger dalmia uh no i say yes and any other college i think this is going to be the finest bet that you can ever have yeah now how how this is been basically worked at okay so say you are an engineer yeah you are an engineer you had worked in a company called as infosys you have worked with a company called as tcs and you had some bank or you know some other company and you had a finance related job right so once you get into the msc finance now what are the what are the what's premium there for you the premium for you is is basically jamnalal bajaj as a brand the top 10 in the country a fantastic brand which is going to back you up so that's number 1 number 2 you're getting a you're getting a kind of a degree which is basically not an mba though but then it's an mnc finance which is equal to cfa i would i would say yeah now as an engineer you can definitely get into a business analyst program so you are the one who here understands uh, the finance as a domain okay so you understand so you've got an idea about the finance so you understand all the terms of finance you understand uh, how it works and everything and again say you you are an engineer so you understand the the vertical of an engineering so you are a best combo for any company so if i if i am an accenture if i am an mo sigma i will definitely hire somebody from uh, you know msc finance because that guy understands both the things like engineering plus finance so he is going to be the best combination for me and he will be hired as a business analyst or maybe consultant yeah so if you look at accenture accenture has a client which is called as jp morgan now if i hire somebody who is an engineer okay but understands nothing about the finance then this guy is not a good ba for me but if i take somebody who is ms finance and is an engineer as well then i think accenture has done a great job by hiring that guy because he understands finance plus he understands engineering right so He, he he can you know interact with accenture people uh, quite well he can interact with the client which is jp morgan qu- quite well so that's a, that's a good deal so yeah so coming back to the entire program portfolio so that's all about your business analyst so you can work there if you are a fresher or if you are good with numbers definitely you can get into financial research that is again the best thing treasury this is the big game guys so getting into treasury is not that simple to be very honest um if if you ask me what kind of uh, uh, you know the students are making it to uh, treasury uh, honestly if you look at the track record i'll i'll just tell you about my students from cd king uh, so i am lucknow then i am cozy code um i am calcutta lucknow cozy code shillong all these guys 
and sometimes people from JB MMS they make it to Treasury kind of a profile. Yeah, and Treasury is one of the sort of the profile uh, in the finance domain. It's one of the fabulous. So if you're an MSC guy, if you're if you're doing MSC finance, Treasury is the main thing that you know you you want to uh, get into. Then again, the corporate finance, yeah, the big yes uh, in the financial world. So corporate finance is there, commercial banking is there, corporate banking. Now here is something um, I want to tell you guys. So say if, for example, if you are somebody who's not clear if you want to do marketing or not, but then yeah, you got a little interest in the uh, finance domain and you got a little interest in the uh, marketing domain. So this is going to be a combination for you. So you're going to be a marketing guy. Working in the corporate finance domain or working in the corporate banking domain, and what's going to be your profile? Your profile is going to be B two B. Simple, see, simple, see. The baat hai yahan pe. See, if you, if you, if you are doing uh, JB MMS, if you are doing JB MMS, you get hired by say uh, City, or you get hired by say uh, you know Stancy, yeah. So you're going to land up in the same in the, in the same stuff. For the fact you have studied one year, which was a general. I believe that you're from a JB, which is a top-notch college. You understand a bit of finance. You understand bonds, debentures, shares, company, balance sheet, all that stuff. Over and above, you're somebody who's pretty good with the communication, and you take marketing as a passion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you in corporate finance, wherein you speak to companies. Let's say, for example, ICICI Bank. Yeah. So ICICI Bank is one of the recruiter out here in MSC program. So if you are a person getting hired by ICICI Bank in a corporate finance domain. Or a corporate banking, or a commercial banking, your job is going to be get in touch with the clients. Now these are going to be the institutional clients. Okay, so you're going to be the institutional person. Like you will be getting in touch with the companies. You're going to be talking to them about the funding requirement, about the project finance, and all that stuff. Yeah, you got to be very good with the numbers. You got to be very good with people and the communication. But the 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 fact here is the underlying thing here is that if you understand finance very well, you are in the position. To kind of get into the market, speak to companies like, uh, say, you know, any any company. Say, you, you want to speak to Hindalco, you want to speak to Jindal and the Tatas and the Birlas, and I say, I say, bank want to finance them, their projects and everything. So you are the first person that can actually get a bright chance into because you understand both the things. You know the finance, you are uh, good in the communication. So that's about your corporate banking or that's about your corporate finance. When you go to the corporate banking, you are basically into marketing. You are much keen on the tie ups. Yeah, so you will be handling companies. So if you're if you're working with ICIC Bank, you'll be handling companies like you know n number, like any company which you know which has got corporate accounts with you. You know all that stuff you will be managing. Commercial banking, commercial banking is more towards uh, lending to the big institution. This is something just I I covered. So do not take MSC Finance as a program which is only meant for the finance guy. A person who wants to get into the marketing can also do MSC Finance and make his career into banking and finance industry. Right now, I've got a piece of advice for you, and it's going to be free of piece of advice for you guys. So, say for example, you are somebody who, um, you know, uh, doesn't want to stay in the typical financial job. Say, uh, equity analyst. Okay, you don't want to do equity analysis. Uh, don't do it. Not a problem. So, you want to be do you want to do marketing. So, five years down the line, see. So On answering this now, if you want to make your career out of MSc Finance program, okay, and you feel that okay, this is something I really want to take it seriously and want to move ahead with this. What are the bottlenecks for you? So first of all, let's understand what the first thing that you have to do is the written exam. Okay, so written exam is going to be the important thing, and once the written exam is done, mostly everybody gets a chance to go for the GD and the PI. Fine. So after written examination, basically the scores are not disclosed. Yet they will not disclose the co uh, the scores, uh, and that's the reason you will not get to know that you know how much you're gonna um, make you know on on that um, hundred questions. Fine. The important thing to crack uh, MSc Finance is your GD 
and the PI. Okay, doesn't matter how good you are. You may be an Einstein. You score say hundred on hundred or whatever. Doesn't really matter to general Al Bajaj people. They care a, they 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 care a shit about it. Honestly, they, it doesn't really matter to them. Now it's a specific program. What matters to them that how good you are, technically. Absolutely. So when I talk about GD, yeah, when I talk, if you look at the GD that happens in general Al Bajaj, sometimes they topic, but. Let's not get be like let's not be overconfident. As if if you look at you know the popularity of this program is growing up. What if they give you a finance related GD? Okay. What is a finance related GD? So there is a company which is like X Y Z company. Okay. Running into losses. The bottom line is going down. Say round about say twenty percent Y O Y. Okay. You are a financial consultant, and what are you gonna do? You have to tell them how you're gonna fund this company. Now this company is quite fucked up. Yeah, they don't have the assets. Their balance sheet is losing up. Uh, the bottom line is going down, and you are a financial consultant. You are Amy from Amy's Finance. Tell me how we're gonna fund them. And I'm I'm very sure most of the guys are gonna talk about the all crap like you know. Okay, we'll take a bank loan. Okay, we'll approach the market, so on and so forth. But that's not the only thing that they're checking at. There are only thirty seats. People are still moaning about it. You should only go for one seat. That's all. You gotta grab it. Simple. You want it? You gotta grab it. Simple. Now. So I I feel I I feel that's 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 the uh, that's the kind of an intuition I have that they may produce finance related GD this time because the competition is growing up and this course has done phenomenally well in in last couple of years. So yeah, so finance related GD. So how are you going to be well versed with those jargons? You know, when I say funding, uh, when I say the balance sheet, when I say uh, you know if you want to fund a company, uh, what are the parameters you're going to look at? All these things. So you need to ask yourself a question first that. Doesn't matter how badly you want this course. Are you intact? Do you understand finance a little bit? And if you're not interested in finance, if you're only going for the interview for the sake of a placement and the sake of a brand, which is JB, trust me, the panel is going to rip you out. It's better you don't go for it. Yeah. Now, couple of questions I really want you guys to get really serious about. Why MSc Finance after Engineering? If you tell them the same gyan that I I I love number crunching, trust me, I'm a panelist on KJ Show. Man, the moment anybody tells me I I I love number crunching, uh, that guy is gone because it depends. It's not necessary that you always do number crunching in finance. You will not believe the maximum number crunching is actually done by people in the operations department. Now, like I can explain you, but it's going to take a lot of time. So, finance is not always about number crunching. It's always about being smarter and technically sound. Fine. Another question: You don't have a finance background, and still you want to go for MS Finance so again, like MMS or PG Finance. I do understand, like you want to be a manager and all that stuff. But why MS Finance? Then which vertical you want to get into? Finance is vast. Where do you want to get into? M and A, investment banking, private equity, venture capital. First of all, you need to understand what is that. What differentiates them? You want to get into the market. You want to be a trader. You want to be a broker. What do you want to be? You want to work in structured finance. What do you want to do? Yeah, so that's again the same question that you know they will be asking, and every year, every year, uh, the topper, the like top five students are always like top five to ten students are from CET King, Pan India level, and every year we train people for these questions. Every year, these guys in JB they are asking these questions. Now, a simple question: How do you analyze a company? Now, this is the question. People feel this is very easy. So if I ask, if I may just ask you, you know, how do you analyze a company? I can guarantee you, 99 percent people will tell me, yeah, basically, I look at the profit and loss, I look at the balance sheet, I look at uh, so and so forth, and look at the ratio, then the leverage, and all the stuff. No, a person who is finance driven, and a person who really understands finance, a first question should be asked to the panelists is that, all right, which sector we are talking about? That's number one. So you got to analyze the company, but with sector because as the sector changes, the fundamentals of the finance changes. Simple. But if you don't want to ask a question, then just tell them that. All right, sir. So assuming that I'm analyzing an say e-commerce company or I'm analyzing say um, you know uh, you know FMCG company, uh, these are the parameters I would like to focus on predominantly. That's how you should start. Okay. Now, even if you have uh, say a normal GD. Uh, 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 any 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 normal jury, you guys need to understand some financial terms. What is a corporate finance? Okay, uh, what what is the corporate governance? Uh, what why why do you need to learn these things? You know what you need to understand. What's the IP and all that stuff. So, financial jargons are always gonna be there. Somebody uses it, 
will be much beneficial to that person then comes ratio analysis dcf vc fcf evaluations these are all typical technical uh, things then I- ipo and fpo mna current affairs brexit suprema this is basically lemmer brother collapse so you guys should uh, know everything uh, about the technical stuff which is uh, the uh, your uh, you know quant lr and di along with the written examination along with the written examination i want you guys to focus more on the technical front of finance second the jargons okay or even more and, and actually more importantly you guys should know little bit of finance simple if you are good with this you will be taken care of and that's where we are coming into the picture so what we are doing is we have this workshop and we have actually framed it in a very different way so this is going to be around about 30 day planning for msc finance in the next 30 days i don't want you guys to focus more on your quant and logical reasoning don't do that in the next 30 days your main focus is to know finance very well you should be well versed with the all technicalities you should be well versed with all the pi questions of why finance which vertical why msc finance all that stuff you should know the jargons you should know the basic financial aspect of finance fine and that's the reason we are coming up with a workshop wherein these things will be given a priority in the next 30 days we actually going to cover all these things in the classroom the questions will be given to you along with the answers all the important concepts will be taken care of like brexit and the demonetization uh, pigs uh, us crisis uh, quantitative easing all those things will be taught to you in the class and if you have any questions then you can again you know kind of you know get them resolved so something like that so we we aim to do that right so my main focus is not going to be quant di lr my main focus is to get to the level of finance knowledge where you perform in a decent way and you make yourself outstanding than the other people simple yeah so that's going to be the main game so so from this weekend we are going to start up with this workshop and this will be divided across till the you know till the time the exam is there and we will be only talking about the finance concept so every sunday we kind of uh, aim at covering couple of concepts and by that way you can be uh, you know you can see yourself getting ready for the msc finance program so we are conducting this program in pune and dadar basically so this is the number 70459 One four six zero three. You can give us a call if you have any questions. You can give us a call if you want to enroll yourself. If you want to understand how the agenda of this entire workshop looks like, because I, it's not possible for me to kind of cover everything in this video. So yeah, I just wanted to know that my main focus is going to be helping you guys to learn finance on a little bit higher level and not getting much into the quant and DI wala part. So do give us a call on this number, and if you want to ask any question, you're most welcome. I hope this helps you. If you guys have any question, what you can do is you can simply um, just post it on my uh, FB page. So that's going to be fb. dot com slash Kathan Kg ninety nine. Uh, that's my FB page. You can send a query out here, and I will be uh, definitely answering it as and when I get time. All right. Thank you so much for uh, for your time, guys. Thank you so much.